But anyways, as it relates to condition, you know, when, when we list a property, there are two major things that I think can really help. And this is assuming that you're living in the house. The first is a staging consultation. We get a professional decorator and designer through that house. And as she's walking through it, she's going through room by room and saying, here are the things that you should do. Here are the things that you can do. And then here are the things that I wouldn't worry about. And it's really a relief for sellers when they, when they have that consultation, uh, just to be able to know what to do to kind of, to have some, some orders, you know, to say, Hey, just do these things, just do them. And I promise you it will help. And by the way, I have not had an issue a single time in which I had a stager slash decorator come through a house and then not sell it. We're, we're batting a thousand. Uh, and she's awesome. She makes our listings look great. Um, and I pay for it. So, uh, it's a pretty nice little service for you guys. But the other thing we do is that we'll have a pre-listing home inspection for the homes that we know are, are going to have some issues that we need to uncover and we need to get ahead of because that helps with negotiability in the back end. The reason we do that is because if we can identify those issues, we can control how much it's going to cost to fix them. If we're waiting for the buyer to do their home inspection, they're going to come at us with what is ultimately going to be a number that is higher than what you could pay to get it fixed yourself. Because the buyer's going to have a contractor go through. If the buyer's contractor knows that you're footing the bill, they're not going to do you any favors. They're not going to say, oh, well, you know what? Let's give these folks a nice little discount. They're not going to do that ever. <laughs> so control the process. We help you do that by getting a free pre-listing home inspection done. Um, but let's, let's, let's switch to, you know, renovating to sell. Is that a good idea? The answer in... 99.9% of the cases is no, unless you're trying to treat your property as an investment property. It does not make sense to put granite countertops on old cabinets. It does not make sense to put a $40,000 new kitchen in a $250,000 house. There are little things we can do here and there. If the carpet is old and stained, yes, let's replace the flooring. Um, and I am now shifting toward having sellers, if they have the ability to financially, and I know that some people don't, but if they have the ability to financially, it makes sense to do those things before we hit the market rather than discount the price and sell it as is. And here's why. Again, when the market was hotter than it is now, people were willing to overlook the fact that it needed a little work so long as you discounted the price um, kind of in relation to how much that would cost. Now they have more choice. And if they're going to go through the process of renovating something, they're also going to be charging you for their time, at least more so than when the market was really hot. And if they didn't make an offer to buy it, someone else was going to. It really kind of revolves around the fact that we as a market, uh, the fear of loss among buyers is diminishing. You know, that feeling that a buyer gets when they walk through the house, it says, I mean, this is great. I mean, it, I, I like the price. I like the layout. I like everything about it. We need to make an offer before somebody else does. Now that tune is kind of changing a little bit. It's, you know, hey, it's a great house. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to think about it. We're going to run some numbers. You know, we'll pray on it, sleep on it, whatever. Um, they're taking a little bit more time. There's not, there's not as much pressure to get something in immediately. And I will also say, just as a little side note here, that um, if you know it's the one, if you know that you've walked through the house that you want to live in, make the offer. Sleeping on it, I understand. Uh, but the old adage goes, if you want to sleep on it, you might not sleep in it. You could lose that deal. And you have to just determine whether it's worth it or not. And that's why you have a good relationship with a real estate agent because they understand what you're looking for. They understand what you want to accomplish. Uh, they can be that voice of reason. We can, they can also at times be that voice of motivation. You know? Hey guys, this is exactly what you're looking for. We've already seen 30 other homes that didn't have all of these things, not at this price, not in this location. What is it about this house that is making you not want to move forward? You know? And by the way, as a listing agent, when somebody hires me, you want me doing that for you when I'm talking to other real estate agents. You want me to be a salesman for you as well as a consultant to you, if that makes sense. Find Brian Beatty online at listingsincharleston.com. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show. Can